In the Andes of Bolivia, hardy descendants of the Inca eke a living from thin mountain soil. At 13,000 feet, life is a constant struggle. Near the village of Ayagua, in central Bolivia, farmers break ground to plant potatoes. According to local tradition, for the crop to flourish, it needs more than skilled tilling and good weather. The potatoes, these farmers believe, need the nourishment of human blood. To guarantee sufficient food for the coming year, villagers stage a festival called Tinku that provides the necessary blood. Hermann Galani, known as Campion, or Champion, is the town's top fighter. Soon, he and complete strangers will be knocking one another cold in the kind of melee many societies might find difficult to control. In a nearby house, Sabino Charque is also getting ready to fight. He wears a cowhide helmet modeled on those the conquistadors wore 500 years ago. This helmet we use to protect ourselves so our heads don't get hurt. Sabino expects that even with his armor on, he'll be wounded. During Tinku, that's the whole point. In the contest, the villagers will be fighting to entertain the spirits of the earth and the mountain. Musicians let villagers and spirits alike know that Tinku has begun and the procession sets off. All will converge at the town of Aimaya for a battle that pits village against village and spirit against spirit. Though strangers to one another, competitors choose their opponent by location. The teams date to ancient times. The one that triumphs is seen as having the strongest spirit and therefore is due the best harvest. It's showtime and Campione and Sabino join the fray. The blood itself is an offering to nourish the spirits just as water nourishes the earth. Boys as young as 10 enter the fray. It's a free-for-all with few rules and it can end in death. Participants claim that almost every year someone dies. Campione, as always, gives better than he gets. Finally, the fighting winds down. Many duels end with an embrace. This is no place for personal grudges. The aim isn't to beat someone up, but to impress the spirits. After a day of bruising battles, the villagers repair to a bar to show their scars and tell their stories. Campion claims he's lived up to his name. We fought without resting. We fought many times. Before I live here, I will fight one more time. Okay, friends, let's have a toast. Let's have a drink for your mountain spirit. The Battle of Tinku has given the villagers hope. They've done their part, delivering the promised sacrifice. Now it's up to the spirits to perform as requested. Until then, the villagers can focus on less dangerous games. <laughs>